Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here again with another uh, reaction video. This time I'm doing one by a band called Oxymorons. Uh, it's called Look Alive, and in parentheses, Netic, I guess is how it's pronounced. Um, I don't know anything about this band at all, uh, except that Nick, uh, who I actually do some acoustic country shows with, uh, working on some other country projects as well, um, although we're both actually more metal guys than country, truth be told. Uh, but uh, he went to see Corey Taylor last night, and uh, during the show he texted me, and he said, I'll read it to you exactly what he said, he said, the openers for Corey Taylor are fucking bangers. You'll like these guys. And I asked, who is it? Before he, I realized he had also sent a Spotify link. Um, uh, oxymorons. Two R's, that's right. They spell their name with two R's. And I said, cool, I'll check them out. And he said, your punk rock bullshit will love it. <laughs> so we'll see what that means. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know anything about them, but uh, let's uh, see what happens. The opening thing here on their video, this is their most recent song. They've only got, uh, I mean, only... Don't I didn't mean that. They've they have seventy point eight thousand monthly listeners on Spotify. Um, this video only has like forty five thousand views. Again, I said only. I mean, c compared to most of the things that I've been reacting to so far. Um, and <clears throat> I don't know. If, 5,000 followers or something like that, I want to say. Uh, so they're obviously a pretty new band. Um, so that's really cool. I like finding stuff when it's early. Um, unfortunately, and I am going to go off on a tangent about this, just because if anybody see actually sees this um, and wants to know a little, about the, a little bit about the music industry and how it works today, um, I don't know this for a fact, I'm totally just guessing, but based on everything that I do know about how the rock music industry works today, um, since these are some guys that, you know, I assume some guys, I don't know, I haven't looked at this band at all, uh, since this is a band that doesn't have a ton of, you know, followers and views and whatnot, and they're opening for an artist, <coughs> excuse me, as prominent as Corey Taylor, I can, I'd be pretty surprised if this band isn't part of what they call a buy-on. Um, and what that means is that the bands like this actually pay to open for the artists that they're opening for on these tours. And I kind of get it why the headlining artists are doing this, um, because it helps fund their tours and all that. I get it. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of the antithesis of what you think business should be about. Um, so I hate it. <laughs> um, and most people don't even know that that's what's going on. But most of the time, if you see an artist that has not a ton of proven you know, likes, shares, all that. And don't get me wrong, this is still impressive. 70,000 monthly listeners on Spotify is still impressive. It's just not, it's not like when, you know, you go to see a headlining band and you've heard of the opening band and they've had some songs on the radio that you know. Um, that's a different scenario. But usually when it's a band like this, that's on a decently major tour that it just you don't know anything about and they don't have some kind of major numbers behind them they're probably paying to be there so my point is if you do find yourselves loving one of these bands go buy their fucking shirt go buy their fucking record go buy their patch to put on your battle vest whatever the case may be go support these bands because they're doing this in the hopes that um, you know it's like buying that lottery ticket hoping that that in investment <laughs> or buying that business or whatever it is will expand into something profitable. That's what they're hoping to do. So 
damn, like I probably should have went off on that tangent at the end of this video instead of the beginning. Um, but I, j I just had to say it. Maybe I'll edit that and fix it. So in case I do that, hey, let's check it out. Risk everything to be yourself. Like, no. All right, like already right off the bat, I am fucking digging this. This is cool. This is cool. I like it a lot. Let's see. I'm going to start over. Risk everything to be yourself. And that's what these, and that's what bands who are doing buy-ins are doing. And again, I could be totally wrong. Maybe they just got to, maybe Corey loves them and asks them to be on the tour. That happens as well. That absolutely does. But. Yeah, this is this is great. I'm digging the flow. Um, I am having a bit of a hard time following all the lyrics, um, but that's probably something that if I listened to it a few times, wouldn't wouldn't be an issue. All right, so one thing I'm wondering watching this video, and I, I obviously don't know, but all these people with their cell phones, I'm wondering if that's how they shot this video, although most of them are holding it like this, and they're like this. So, you know, maybe not. But then, you know, then again, you can, you know, you can edit things. But, uh, I mean, that would, that's, that's pretty cool if that's what they did. And it does, it doesn't look like a high-budget video but it's cool and the groove is great Yeah, this is great. I love how they're, uh, you know, blending the whole hip hop and pop thing into rock. And actually, right there, there was a whole bunch of auto tune, which normally I don't like when it's used as an effect, um, versus just to, you know, fix like a little minor imperfection in a take. Um, but also at the same, uh, I don't know. That time, it, I guess it was just the way it was applied, the tone of it. It wasn't overwhelming. I just noticed it. Let's let's hear it again. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's the it's clearly auto tuned, and I don't know if that's. I, I, I'm now I'm gonna have to watch a live video. Um, but it at the same time, like it's it. 
to my ear for whatever reason it's pleasantly applied i normally am really turned off when i hear that uh, the clickety auto tune um where it's it's just obviously used as an effect but uh, um i that doesn't it, this one doesn't offend me Oh, is it great? Yeah. That was an awesome, what we used to call mosh, <laughs> mosh part. Um, in the Anthrax records back in the day, it even used to have it in the lyrics, mosh part. That's That was cool. That was cool as shit. I want to hear it again. A little farther than that, because I got to hear the transition. Fuck yeah. Look alive, look alive. Outside with the gang, rip us outside. Four or five, let it bang, you ain't taking mine. No way, no way, we ain't satisfied. Yeah, hard times get better. Black aside, summertime in a sweater. So, look alive, look alive. So yeah, this is cool. Love it. I'm not sure where Nick was coming from on the punk rock part of it. Um, but uh, who knows? There might be some other songs. This is just their, you know, their most recent video that I happened to uh, pick to do this with. Fuck yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Um, I'm definitely interested in hearing more by this band. They did a lot of really cool shit there that I dug. Um, I'm always a fan when uh, you can take uh, a pop melody, which is what I felt they had going on in the choruses, um, and apply that to a heavy rock and groove. And I think they did that really well i'm interested to hear more in this band and uh hear where they go in the future and uh thanks nick for letting me know to check these guys out i'll definitely do some more and thank you for watching uh, remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff and uh hope to see you again thanks <laughs>